Oh yeah, welcome back to the Outdoor Gear Review where today I'm reviewing this right here. This is the Bitty Big Q Titanium Cup and Cutlery Set. I finally got that out. I've been messing that up so many times. Something about saying Bitty Big Q Titanium Cup. That's a tongue twister right there. So anyways, this is my agenda free review of this kit. Let's go ahead and begin. With this little kit here, I've been testing this out for quite a while and I'm ready to give you all my thoughts, my opinions on this. So with this kit, what you receive is this. You get the storage bag. You receive what they refer to as the 450 milliliter cup. There is a lid. On the inside, you get this. So there's a storage bag and inside of the storage bag, you have a cutlery set. It's a three piece set that includes a knife, a fork, and a spoon. These have foldable handles, they lock into place, and we'll come back to these in just a moment. Briefly, we've taken a look at the kit, but let's go ahead and touch upon the weights. The weight of the entire kit is 5.4 ounces. The weight of the cup with lid, that is 2.8 ounces. The cutlery set with the storage bag is 2.1 ounces. And the weight of the storage bag is roughly half an ounce. As you all can see with this kit, the primary material is titanium, but there is some stainless steel and also some polyester. Concerning the measurements for this kit, four inches tall, roughly three inches wide. And the cost of this kit is $40. Now folks, let's move over to the review, starting with the pros and cons. During the pros and cons section, you will see every aspect of this kit, what I like and what I don't. When it comes to the pros, let's start there. First off, this is a lightweight kit, 5.4 ounces for the entire kit. That's not bad. It's not at all. As far as a coffee cup goes, this is a nice little cup. It does everything that you want it to do. Now, that's not to say that it couldn't be better because it could, but as far as a simple cup mug goes, this works well. The overall quality of the materials is good. The grab tab here on the lid is excellent. It's very rigid, it stands up, and it makes it very easy for picking up and taking the lid off. Oftentimes when it comes to products like this, the pull tabs are very loose. They just simply fall over. That's not the case here. The storage bag for the kit works very well. It's big enough so that you can easily take the kit, put it inside of the bag, and also take it out. It's not too small, it's not too big. The butterfly handles here on the cup are comfortable to hold. They are a little bit loose, or I should say one is loose, one is rigid. So one will actually stay put while the other flops around. I would prefer if they were both rigid, but that's a small nitpick. In the end, the handles are comfortable and they work well. As a small coffee cup, this does work well, and you can use this with larger pots, such as a 750 milliliter pot. It fits perfectly inside of one of those. The final pro for this kit is that the cup does feature measurement markers. Now it's time to discuss the cons for this kit, the issues that I have with it. So the company claims that this is a 450 milliliter cup. It is 450 milliliters all the way up to the very, very top. At that point, it's unusable. Yeah, you could get it to fit, but you're not going to do anything with it. You would be lucky to be able to carry this, carry that water, move it around without it spilling. So the question becomes, is this really 450 milliliters? Technically, yes, but in a usable sense, no. That's my first con. The second con is this. The price of this kit, in my opinion, is expensive, especially when you consider that the cutlery set is not that good. I will come back to this in just a second. You can easily go out and you can spend much less than $40 and get a very usable kit, including a 450 milliliters titanium cup and a spoon, a long handled spoon. That is what I would recommend. And you can save some money. If you go with non-name brand products, Chinese goods, you could spend even less, you could save even more. The next con that I have for this kit is the single drainage hole, vent hole. There needs to be more than just one not only for draining whatever's in your cup, but for releasing steam. When you're using this cup, you're boiling water, that one little hole is not enough to release the steam. So all of a sudden, the lid is flying up and water is pouring everywhere. In the end, it simply could be better. My biggest con for this kit is the cutlery set. Personally, I have found it to be not that useful. I mean, it's okay in a pinch, but this is not something that I want to use all the time. And with this kit, I feel like this is really what you're paying for. The cup by itself would run 20, 25 bucks, maybe even less. This utensil set, 
can be quite expensive. There are other companies out there who make the exact same product. I mean, exactly the same, only the logo is different. They sell these for roughly $25. So with this kit, in my opinion, this is the expensive part, the expensive component. And let's just face it, it's not that good. This utensil set is not something that I want to use when I'm out in the field. First off, the handles are very short. The spoon, the spork, the knife, they're also very small. Because they're so short, so small, they don't work well with freeze-dried meals, bag meals, whatnot. You go in for a bite, you get food all over the place. Talking about this set here, I don't like the way that it unfolds and locks into place. You have this piece of metal right here that slides down and it goes over and locks it. That could be a pain to move up and down. You have to kind of use your fingernail to move it. I just don't like it. I don't. Another con that I have for the cutlery set is once it's all folded up, it's stowed inside of the cup, the lid does not fit flush on the top. The cutlery sticks up just a little bit and it prevents the lid from sitting completely. To wrap up this review, the question is this, do I recommend this kit? And the answer is no, not for 40 bucks. The cup itself is not bad. The cutlery, I just simply don't find it to be that useful. It's not that good of a kit in my opinion. Ultimately, I do like the size and the form factor of this cup. It does work well especially when you use it in conjunction with a larger pot. For my review of the Bitty Big Q Titanium Cup, that is it. Make sure to sound off in the comment section down below. What do you all think about this little kit? Do you think it's worth $40? Sound off down below. I can't wait to read your thoughts, everyone. In my opinion, it simply misses the mark and this kit is too expensive. Everyone, I appreciate you watching. Make sure to hit the thumbs up because it does help the channel. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Support here on YouTube or on Patreon. Join the Wolf Pack. Strength and honor. I will talk to you all soon. Bye folks. Mm -hmm.